The siege was over. My enemy's base lay gutted and destroyed. And my base? Well, it wasn't much better. Only difference? I got to their smithy, and they didn't get to mine. So I guess at the end of the day, I was the victor. But this was a Pyrrhic victory. I'd lost almost everything I owned. What I did learn from the situation, though, is that I needed to grow Plant Species X so this could never happen again. And I'm 12 hours away from that happening. So I think it's about time I get to rebuilding my base and reinforcing it to make it stronger than before. With the help of a tribe mate I'd earned through the siege, John Mark Gibson. Using the ill-gotten gains I'd acquired through the defense of my base in the siege, I went ahead and stocked up all of my top plant species X with fertilizer. This would ensure that so long as they weren't looted by anybody, I wouldn't have to interact with them anymore and they would simply just grow on their own. Alright, that'll be enough fertilizer to basically um, offset all the fertilizer they cost me. Man's taming dodos, that's pretty sick. Since my base had pretty much been desecrated, it was uh, it was time to quote unquote hire some new staff. No, listen. <laughs> oh, so awesome. <laughs> hey, he's taking my dodo to meet. The, he's taking his dodo to meet my trike. You fucking asshole. I thought he was a wholesome little bob. This happens every goddamn time. One moment it's just a wholesome little bob, you know, living his life on the beach taming pink dodos. The next second he's some ferocious, vicious creature trying to kill your tames for no good reason. It's about time I put him down like a dog with rabies. Around this time, my other tribe mate, Kiwi, decided to also log in. Now, I'd sort of had a momentary lapse where I didn't feel like playing, so I decided to log out and uh, leave the base in control of John Mark Gibson and Kiwi. Uh, I told them that uh, I had to go do something, and that wasn't necessarily true. I basically just didn't want to be the one to rebuild. I know they're both watching this and hating my guts right now, so uh, sorry about that, boys. And I came back to a pretty damn chaotic site. Ah, he was gone. I mean, you think I'm gonna get in the water, fucking paddle after this guy? He's not a frog. I don't got a hope of catching him. So with the random bob attack now repulsed, I could get back to looking around the base and seeing what was new in the roughly one hour that I was gone. Someone had actually come by and looted the plants off of the top of the roof, though this had been recent, so only a little bit of damage done. Roughly nine and a half hours left till the plants are done. They also went ahead and tamed a Gigantopithecus. Now these ripped lads are about the best tame you can have on beginner servers. They do great damage, they're pretty quick, and they have helmets, which means they can have much more armor than a normal saddle would allow. Basically what this means is that anybody I come across is pretty much fucked. Fuck, we're getting raided aren't we? I was away from base, Kiwi had just been killed, and the tribe log said that three stone ceilings were destroyed. This wasn't looking good. There it is. They had blown into the top of my raft. My base was safe. For now. This is who it is, Stuff Crust. Stuff Crust, I remember these guys were the f from the first episode. Stuff Crust. These bastards were on my list of enemies. They were the ones that had completely tormented on the first episode. This was going to be entirely personal. <laughs> you shitter.
As soon as I pulled up the monkey, they started running. Taken away from your fucking stupid dick raft. Turn around a bunch of charcoal. What the fuck's wrong with you? Shit for brains. Yeah, come on up, will ya? Pussy. Monkey's cleaning up shop with these fucking losers right now. Yeah, you wanna come on up? Free long neck! The fuck? Give me that fucking long neck. Wait, 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 where's the monkey? Oh, the monkey just went to the surface, okay. <laughs> you went to go retrieve your boys a long neck, didn't you? How humiliating. Despite the fact that they live on a fucking raft, they don't understand the fact that you're not supposed to jump when the raft is moving, because then you get glitched out. Thanks for the long neck, you fucking idiot. And after that, they ran away. They clearly weren't expecting a fight, because, I mean, look at how they fucking acted. They were just hoping to do a little bit of offline raiding. Now, while this had been a humiliating defeat for them, I can't quite cross them out of the list of enemies. They're still a threat. But apparently, I wasn't yet done being harassed by random weirdos on rafts. You gonna start shit? I get the feeling they're gonna start shit. Yeah. Oh, you wanna go into the water? Good fucking riddance. Get your shitty fucking purser out of here. <sighs> Another guy I gotta fucking repel. Yeah, come on. Yeah, take pot shots at me. Oh no, you hit the monkey. They just- they just demolished their center. They're just demolishing their ramps. What a bunch of little pussies. Demolish- demolish the ramps. Wait, can't- isn't the driver exposed right there? And that was when the penny dropped. Am I driving a straight line? That's a hit. Knocked out, knocked out! Mr. Pump, the owner of the eponymously named Tribe of Mr. Pump. Better add him to the list of enemies. So with Jack Sparrow and apparently every other pirate in the area now having been successfully beaten off, I could get back to actually working on my base. Next thing to do was to go out and tame a couple more trikes. Hmm. Dead trike. The saddle on. Actually not mine. Ten minutes ago. I didn't have anything to do with that, but... Uh, someone raided this thing. Rip. Fire on in there. You're sneaky? Someone's taking pot shots at me. Shot his own buddy! Good shit. These are probably the- this is probably the raiding party. Oh, you wanna fight me with your fucking frog? Alright, now you got your stamina back?
He was hiding inside the raided base. It would be a terrible idea to follow him in, but there's some wooden walls. I can break them down with my monkey, although it will take a decent amount of time. Why is my arrow shooting so low? My arrow shoots like a mile low. Oh shit, friendly fire, whoops. Come here, frog hunt. He said fuck. Ugh. Kiwi was in trouble. Where did this happen? Oh, right here. There's a frog. Frog's fucked, pal. So are you. The situation was too chaotic for any semblance of planning or strategy. I was just running on pure instinct now. What is this shit? Cunt. Yeah? Yeah? You think we're done here? Random people who weren't even involved in the fight started dogpiling in. Gonna lose your guard down now, cunt. Kiwi was back, but he didn't have any gear. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Both the health and stamina of my monkey were in a dismal state. I had no choice but to retreat. Kiwi then informed me while I had been ravaging the enemies, he had been scavenging the battlefield and managed to find two long necks as well as some additional gear. Me and Kiwi regrouped and re-geared at the base. The fight wasn't done, we'd have to go out there. But this time, I couldn't bring the monkey with him. He's just too low health. We need to get back out there. This way. I only have a pike and a couple arrows. Alright, I'm gonna need to play things smart over here. The thing is good that's good is that we're the ones that are most refreshed in this battle. We just we just had the opportunity to regear. <laughs> we 
we looted 15 grenades off this guy. Not a bad haul. But see, the thing about carrying around 15 grenades is you don't just have that on you at any given moment. They had come to raid someone, and most likely, it was us. You wouldn't bring 15 grenades for a simple boat base. And that's why these guys need to get added to the list of enemies. Their tribe name? Bubis, or Bubis, I don't know. It sounds fucking gross either way. Outside, the war still waged on, so now it was time to get back, and the monkey had sufficiently healed. He was gonna whoop some ass again. Oh yeah, you're laying down to get some stamina back, probably drop some junk. I just got some. I just got a whole bunch of loot on me. Should probably go take that back. Kiwi asked me one simple question, and really, you don't have to be particularly smart to know the answer to that. Oh, shit, he's got him. Uh... So the gorilla started using his ridiculously well-defined monkey muscles to start tearing the boat down, and Kiwi also desisted by using his not so very well-defined human muscles. Two of us here, we're fucking geared. We got a monkey. Things are looking chill right now. They were trying to make a play through the hatch. Kiwi was sent up to investigate. Please be careful. No, he went in! I think he's fucked. Kiwi was down. Now it's just left up to me and the monkey. No, not a bow. They only just now considered moving the raft. Well, I think it was a little late for that. Yes! Kiwi came over and assisted with the looting, because there was a fair bit of that to be done. Running side by side, um, beautiful sight. The Fiumi is going to have some more stuff in it, I suppose. Looks like we're done here. Overall, another very epic day of Ark Survival Evolved. Best part, I get to strike another person off of my enemies list, because I just don't gotta worry about them anymore. Goodbye, Mr. Pump. And as such, another beginner server series video is over. Quite a tongue twister that sentence was. I think my impeccable tongue twisting titillation deserves a subscription. As well as a like, if you would so please. I fucking hate myself. Alright, and if you want to financially support me, the link to my Patreon is in the description down below. Thanks to Level 5 Tech Turtle and Dylan the Villain for being very epic. Level 5 Tech Turtle also says everyone that's not on the screen, well they're just a bob.